Hey guys, this is Elizabeth, aka Model Dreams. So, this is the second video in a tutorial series about how to make your own animated web series. The software I'm using today is called iClone. Uh, the version is 5.5 Pro. Alright, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, get that 2D cell shaded cartoon look that I uh, do in my series. So, uh, I'm going to start by dragging in a model of Nessie from my uh, web series Hunting Shadows. Okay, and then I'm going to drag in one of the iClone default characters. Um, I'm going to use Violet here. Okay. So. We have two uh, characters here, one without really any textures, that Nessie here, and one with a ton of textures. So now let's, you know, start the tune shading settings. So go to stage, stage tab, then atmosphere, and just scroll down and until you reach tune shading. Turn it on. And I like to uh, set my edge width to 3. Um, if they're super far away, the characters, then I set it to 2. You can do it as thick or thin as you want, seriously. Uh, and I like the texture color to be black. I leave it at those settings, really. Um, but when it goes to tune levels, I actually drag the second and third arrow all the way to the dark, darkest color. And I leave these colors the way they are for the most part. Unless maybe I'm doing like a night scene. And then I would change it to like a dark blue color. Uh, and that actually has a pretty nice uh, effect. Okay, so notice the kind of drastic difference here. So Nessie looks all, you know, like anime. She got the uh, kind of shadow under her chin lit by the side, and you can adjust the lighting however you want there. Violet here um, has so many textures that she really doesn't look like a cartoon. Also, if you take a closer look at her, her hair and whatnot, and her clothes actually, will have these sort of choppy outlines, and that is definitely not what you want. So. Now that we've gotten the tune shading part of the tutorial over, and setting the tune shader to on, let's see how we actually make her look more like Nessie. And to do that, really, the, bi the biggest battle is the materials. So let's start by understanding what makes the hair look better. I'm going to go to Violet's hair in the Actor and Hair tab. Then, just scroll down to the materials, and it's really a simple fix, just select alpha threshold. So check alpha threshold, and you got it all fixed. Her hair has outlines right where it's supposed to. Um, now, her hair is still very textured, so sometimes that might be what you want to a degree. Um, Definitely, um, you want to uh, play around with these uh, little colors here, the diffuse color, the ambient color, and this, possibly the specular color. Um, if you want to have glossy highlights, like I do in my Raventhorn series, yeah, specular color will come in, but my anime stuff, really, uh, I just leave the specular out of it and to ha have two colors, a shadow and a main color. So. Violet's hair selected, I'm going to go to the ambient color and change it to black. That is going to give you the most accurate color when you set the diffuse color, which is what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to keep a little of the hair texture. I wouldn't do this so much with uh, most of the other stuff, but um, what I'm going to do is uh, I have the diffuse map selected. And I'm going to just change the saturation all the way to gray. And I'm going to up the contrast and change the brightness setting so it's mostly white. 
maybe with some darker colors uh, in there. Just It looks more cartoony and con contrasted when you do it that way. So um, next we click on the diffuse color here. And I'm going to just select a yellow color. And she's blonde again. Uh, you might try maybe some specular highlights. Add a little uh, more white there. But you might want to make the glossiness kind of high. Okay, so that sort of takes care of her hair. Um, let's move on to her skin. First I'm going to capture her face texture. Then op open it up in a program like Manga Studio for adding a little cartoony uh, look to it. So you can just paste that in. And on a separate layer, you could just add little features like eyebrows. And then you have this nice uh, little colored uh, texture for the face. You can go back to eye clone and before I uh, change the face texture again, I'm going to okay, select the checkbox affect all materials. Then I'm going to just change the texture brightness to pure white. I'm going to open up the face texture and paste in that little thing we created in uh, our paint program. And yeah, it's a tad sloppy with the lips there, but uh, you get the idea. You can play around with it you can perfect it uh, how you like it. Okay, so her skin is pretty pale. So let's change the ambient color to black down here. And let's just pick a nice little makeshift skin color for her skin. And here, that's uh, pretty interesting. Okay, one last thing to do is to maybe change the glossiness a bit for the and the specular to however you like. Um, you may just have no specular if you want just uh, two colors. But that's kind of a nice little touch there. And I definitely do that for Raventhorn. And that just kind of covers her hair and skin. Maybe her hair is a little glossy. Anyway, you know, just play around with how you want it to look. So lastly, let's just uh, repeat this all with the clothing. I'm really just going to go really simple with it. You just change the brightness of the clothing to uh, 100% again. You can also just uh, set the diffuse to uh, nothing if you like, you know, just the strength of the diffuse to zero. But if you want to uh, have a subtle uh, contrasted textures or whatnot, definitely uh, keep the diffuse and play around with the adjust color settings. You, you could uh, change the colors to whatever you want. I think I, I've uh, covered the topic, so that's really how you'd uh, do that. Remember, uh, you don't have to do this uh, specular effect if you don't want to. Also, if you have no specular, um, it will look more like this. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned some good stuff and that you'll play around with it yourself. So, thanks for watching. I'll be back with some other cool videos in this series, so keep stick around. And I'll see you later. Bye.